Are you struggling with poor growth in your broiler chickens? Do you find it difficult to achieve the desire which your customer craves for? What if I tell you there are ways you can apply to achieve the desire with without any addition of chemical booster or antibiotics? If you are interested to know this secret, please stay tuned, I'll write back. Please stay tuned, I'll write back. My name is Ezra Uncle Samuel. I'm a teacher and I'm passionate about poultry farming. I want to see people succeed in it without the fear of losing their beds or money. On this channel, I share helpful tips and guides to help you set up your poultry farming business and scale it up. Welcome back. So, on today's video, I will share with you six secret tips to increase the body weight of your broiler chicken. I encourage you to stay to the end of this video because number six is the icing of the cake of all the tips I'm going to give you today. So, sit back and enjoy. Number one, source your chicks from a reputable cashier or vendor. As I will always say, that the quality of your chicks is a source of determining steps in your poultry family. Any mistake made at this point will be detrimental to your poultry success. Because all other efforts depends on this, the quality of your chicks. For instance, if you source your bread from a, not a dishonest pastry or vendor or pastry that has poor quality control, they might switch your bed with a slow grain breed. And brawlers are known to grow very fast. No matter what you do, no matter the type of feed or point of feed you give to that bed, the bed will not do well. Secondly, the bed might contaminate disease on the hatchery. Some of these hatchery are half poor hygienia incubator are contaminated therefore this egg will be contaminated as well or the system how they run their breed uh, their breeder beds may not be standard and their, their breeder bed might be contaminated therefore the mother hen can transfer a medical disease to the beds and this will be become, and this will become a problem for you during the first few weeks not beside the high mortality rates problem like this it can also cause slow growth in your brother chickens if your brother chickens contract disease from the hatchery this will affect the growth as well as their overall performances so if you want to avoid such things please make sure you source your bed from a reputable hatchery or vendor number two Avoid starving your beds and feed them with quality and rich feed. We all know that feeds are expensive this time around. Of course, you have to cut costs to maximize profit, but not with feed, if I may say, when it comes to poultry farming, especially in broiler production. You don't cut the quantity of feed. It will harm production at the end of the day. So, you calculate the quantity of feed for time. Make sure the quantity of feed they are going to eat is available. Feed them day and night. Third step, give your chicken natural growth promoters like garlic, ginger, glove, pita cola, moringa leaf, etc. This Natural group promoters have been proven to improve the immune system of the chicken, increase uh, absorption of nutrients, reduce FCR or feed conversion ratio, and at the same time, improve the overall performances of the beds. I have written article on this on how to use natural group promoters, some of these natural group promoters. The quantity, how to pre uh, prepare the extract, the quantity you should add in their feed or water. I will leave the link to the article in the description below. You can go ahead and download it or read up. Right now, if you are getting value from this video, please like the video. It is the most important metrics for getting to people like you who also need it. The button is right below here. Like it. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Obrigado. Let's get back to business. Number four, fattening ration. This always work like magic. If I notice that my chicks, chickens are not doing well, I'll just prepare a fattening ration to supplement my feed. 
fattening ration simply means crack corn and soya beans, granite cake to some extent some people include blood meal and fish meal but it's not encouraged to include boots because they might be contaminated your sauce might be contaminated except they are prepared by you before you use the soya beans or granite cake make sure the soya beans is well roasted to remove some uh, anti-nutritive agents in the feed in the in the in the beans to avoid some stomach upset anyway if you notice any stomach upset while using this fatty ration please desist from it and again only give to beds who are below average weight who are below normal weight or the expected weight don't give to bed who are who have normal weight because it might lead to to have problem or paralysis so before you give this ration to your beds make sure you sort them out according to, to to their weight and sizes and give the ration to those who need it the fourth step provide enough space and sort your beds according to sizes before you bring in your bed make sure the space available will be enough for your bed to grow and again as your bed grows you will notice that the changes in behavior and the sizes and the bigger ones will tend to blow the smaller ones as usual the smaller ones will tend to shy away and not feed well which will lead to poor growth what you have to do here is sort your beds according to what sizes prepare a pen for the smaller ones and feed them day and night so that they can meet up with the big ones or they can meet up with the target weight by so doing you will sell more profitably step 6 achieve the 7 day weight you might have heard about the 7 day weight or concept but what does it imply according to research to achieve the full potential out of a broiler chicken, the target weight at the seven must be reached. There are two points you have to take away from here. During the first seven days, 80% of the chicken's energy is used for growth, while 20% is used for maintenance. I say again, during the first week, the first seven days, 80% of the chicken's energy is used for growth why 20 percent is used for maintenance as the chickens grow the reverse come to stay so as it grows it moves from 80 percent 70 60 why the other one for maintenance increases for 20 30 40 so by the time your chicken might have gotten to eight weeks nine weeks uh, most of its energy will be used for maintenance then the lesser energy will be used for growth. That's why it is advised to sell your bed after between six to eight weeks. Because after eight weeks, it will only tend to what maintain its weight. So the food conversion ratio will increase. The bed will not be able to convert food to what to meat doing as it was doing at day old. So the rate as the chicken convert its feed to meat will reduce after eight to nine weeks you may see your bed growing big but after eight to nine weeks your bed weight addition will reduce you see them removing a uh, mountain you see some white feather within six seven to eight weeks nine weeks you see you notice your brother checking mountain what is a period of removing feather for the best to rest it is mostly efficient in layers but it also happens in broilers so once your broiler chicken begins to mount at that point from seven weeks to eight weeks it's showing that the energy is converting to maintenance rather than what uh, growth so for them to use the feed to add flesh and grow more they'll use it for what maintenance they will convert most of the feed energy to replacing their feathers. You see, most of those birds that is very big with enough gracefulness have more feathers than those ones between 6 to 8 weeks. And again, at day 7, the 
weight should be four times the weight at day one. That is, if we have 40 grams at day one, at the same we should be 170 grams. It can be more than that. 170, 180, 200. You can get it. That is the appropriate. But the average is 180. At the same we the weight of the chips should be at what? 180 grams. The lower side 170, the higher side 200 grams. The at the one it is 40, 50, 35 pence. But the average at the one is 40, the average at the seven is what? 180. So if you can achieve this weight at the seven, 180 grams at the seven, you are doing very well. If 80% and 70% of the floor can achieve this weight at the seven, that means you are doing a great job. And the future of your chickens, the weight. Anything you put into that chicken from hence will be utilized for meat. Will be utilized for meat. So this is where I come to the end of this video. If you know that you have gained value from this video, please subscribe to this channel so that as soon as I release my next video, you will be notified. So always make your bed happy because a happy bed makes a happy farmer. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.